so we all know the epic story of steve jobs so how he started apple from his garage and how he made it into a multi billion dollar business as it is today but very few people actually know that steve jobs was not the only founder of apple in fact there were three founding partners of apple steve jobs of course was a visionary and the marketing genius then steve wozniak who was the brains behind the apple technology and third a very little known person named ronald wayne now in 1976 when ronald was in his early 40s he met steve jobs and steve wozniak for the first time and as soon as he got to know them he was very inspired by their talent by their ambitions right so he realized that these guys have a lot of ideas but they don't know exactly how to get started right so one day he invited both of them to his house to discuss the action plan so all three of them had a good 2 hour long discussion and after which steve job proposed that the best way to get started was to form a company and he named it apple now that was all good but what do you do next right so these young kids had no idea how to incorporate a company well this is when ron's background helped so ron had experience in incorporating a company before in fact he had started his own company when he was in his 20s so clearly ron was the man for the job so the two young men entrusted ron to draft the partnership agreement for the company so these two young men they saw a lot of value that ron brought to the table his experience his knowledge so for that they decided ron to become a partner in the company so steve jobs and steve wozniak each of them got 45% of stake in the company and ron got 10% and ron then personally drafted the historic partnership agreement of the company but ron's role in the company was not just administrative he was also a father figure at this stage because both steve jobs and steve wozniak were in their early 20s so obviously they were immature and prone to getting into frequent arguments and it was ron's job to calm them down and resolve any issues before they become bigger and that is exactly why steve jobs always looked up to ron as a mentor and apart from all this ron was also responsible for creating the apple logo and its first ever user manual now things started to pick up pace when steve jobs secured their first ever order for a company named the bite shop so these guys they got this order and they were very excited but they did not have any money to get started so steve jobs secured a 15000 dollars loan for buying the raw materials for their order but this loan started to make ron very nervous because he had some bad experience from the company that he had started and it took him several years to come out of the debts that he had taken to launch his company now again ron thought that he might be getting into a similar kind of a trouble because he knew that legally all members of a partnership are personally responsible for any debts incurred by any partner now both steve jobs and steve wozniak were very young jobs was about 21 years and wozniak was about i think 25 so they had no money and basically they had nothing to lose but ron had personal assets that potential creditors or banks could possibly seize in case the company went bankrupt on top of that the customer who had actually placed the order the bite shop was known to make very slow payments to its vendors so because of all these fears ron got cold feet and he decided to exit the partnership now steve jobs personally did not want ron to exit and he requested him several times to stick around but ron did not listen to him at all so he gave his partnership back for a mere 800 dollars now just imagine 800 dollars for 10% shares in apple as of today the same 10% shares of apple would be worth more than 300 billion dollars even just thinking about the lost opportunity makes one cringe about the bad decision that ron had made but more interestingly even after ron had exited steve jobs contacted him several times and tried to persuade him to come back and join apple again but ron decided that he didn't want to join so as they say that it takes a special talent to lose billions of dollars and ron certainly had that talent and as of today ron lives in a mobile home in nevada from where he sells stamps and coin collections and one can only imagine how his life would have turned if he had shown some faith in these two talented geniuses